Hello and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the shows that give you the extra material you need to really appreciate the Exile 6 c webisodes. Today I'm, I'm very happy to introduce an, uh, an old uh, acquaintance from the show. You've seen him a uh, couple of times in the second seasons and you've seen his, his name uh, on the list of cameramen a uh, uh, dozen times. Uh, here with me today is Christian Bullemak. Welcome. Hi, Bob. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, well, uh, I thought we would go back memory lane. So you came into the show back in uh, September? End of August. End of August 2012. 2012. Uh, doing an internship at Amela's office, uh, mainly working with uh, our dossiers, but also doing a lot of the filming for the show. Yes, I had uh, as principal task uh, following files in ITRE committee, in INTA, and uh, helping with the show. And uh, you were also seen briefly in some of the episodes. I think you carried a bag of books in one. Well, yes, I was the box-carrying intern. Box-carrying intern. That's, you know, that's a good start for, for a career. Uh, but uh, you left us around the end of the year, uh, when your internship ended. Yes. And moved on, on to other ventures. But you stayed here in Brussels. How come? Uh, no, I didn't really stay in Brussels. I came a lot in Brussels, visiting and participating in, participating in the events in the Parliament. But I was uh, working uh, as a freelancer from home. Uh, on a website about open source and open standards. It was called JoinUp, and it is called JoinUp. It's an initiative by the European Commission. And home is uh, Romania? Home is Romania, Bucharest. Where you keep bees? Near the city where I keep bees, yes. Okay. So bees in Romania, uh, join up in Brussels, and going back and forth. It was bees and join up in Romania, events in the parliament, events and in the parliament. pirate issues in Brussels. Well, pirate issues everywhere, I assume. Yes. Uh, and uh, we will also see you this summer in our episodes about the German General Assembly. Yes, one of the occasions when I came to Brussels was to participate in the German General Assembly. Which were in Germany. Which uh, we traveled together from Brussels to Germany. Yes, which you will, of course, all be able to see in the, in the episodes. Uh, so, but you were there as a Romanian pirate. Yes. And what was your impression of, of the German pirates? Well, let's say they are good at organizing things. So it's a stereotype about the Germans, which I was not uh, disappointed to see that it is there. So, so basically really you're saying do. that stereotypes are true. This stereotype. This stereotype is, is true. Yes. The, the Germans can organize. The German pirates can organize. The German pirates can organize. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm tend to, to agree with you on that one. I was also uh, quite amazed by their organization skills. Uh, but this will not be the last we see of you. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, we never know what happens. But, but you are actually coming back to Brussels uh, yes. for a longer time now. So starting July, I am again in Brussels for at least one year. Uh, doing what? Bees? Uh, no, the bees stayed at home. The bees so stayed in Romania, no bees in Brussels. They can survive without me for some okay. long time. They survived without humans for thousands of years, so I think they will do well. Okay. We are, we, I'm uh, having my fingers crossed for the bees in Romania. Well, actually, I'm working for the bees from here. Like, I'm supporting the legislation and regulation which might help the bees, but more on the legislation which might help the electronic communication or the space issues because now I'm working as the policy advisor for the Green IFA group in the European Parliament uh, following files in ITRE committee. And ITRE committee is of course the committee of Emil Anders Lothar. Yes. So, and you're following telecom files and space files and B files. No B files. No, no B files. Okay, that's, that's a hobby. Yeah. Okay, so that that we will leave on the side. But you will be following a lot of the files that Amela will be working with. Yes. That means that you will be working close with our office. Of course. That means that we will see you in the show. Yes. Uh, and and you seem quite eager to be back on the program. <laughs> yeah, I feel more comfortable behind the camera than in front of it. But well. Uh, Actually, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that because, uh, and now I will speak to the camera. Hi, camera. Uh, 
we are actually looking for an intern for our office to start in uh, September or October who can uh, manage the camera. An intern specialized in filming and editing films who wants to stay with us here in Brussels for six months. Uh, so if you're interested, go to Amelia's website, ameliaandoslotov.eu, and, and lo look for the blog post where we ask for an intern. Uh, I think it's in Swedish, but I'm pretty sure if you don't speak Swedish, Google Translate will do the trick for you. So that was the ad advertisement for, for today. Uh, so you will not be holding the camera. You will actually be doing uh, policy stuff. Yes. So what is a policy advisor? Well, it's the person which tries to steer a group of MEPs into taking the best possible decisions. That will never work. Of course. So, if you cannot do that because the MEPs in the end decide on what the others should do, you at least try to provide them the materials which will help um, making the options available as clear as possible and uh, helping them to choose the best possible way. Okay, so to make it simple, it's sort of like what assistants do, but instead of working for one parliamentarian, you work for all the parliamentarians from the group. Yes, and you stress out the assistant of the MEPs because they have to do some stuff in time. Ah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to see you stress out my colleagues. Uh, we might actually be able to get that on film. Uh, and uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we, will be back, uh, we will be back two weeks from now with the final episode of this season of Hacking the Exile. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me.